Hello some viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video we are going to discuss a read operation. We are discussing MongoDB CRUD. The second one is read. Without any further ado, let us start the video. So this is what we created in the previous video. Let me clear the screen and let me open the document. So in the document guys, the read operation, we have two operations, find and find one. We'll see what is the difference. So let us, let me open the shell. So if I write show DBS, so it will show all the DBs which are we um, currently are there. So create document is a DB we are um, using currently. So we don't have to switch, it's already switched. So just have to see the find find operation will give you the all the documents present in a collection so now what does find one does right let me write find one it's a camel case O should be caps let me click on enter so it will get the first document right find one will always give you the first document which is present so here I got the first document as you can see see I got the first document now what else operations are we do have so for find you can see DB find one query and projection what is a query right what is a projection so first we'll see what is a query let me go back to shell now I can see I have three documents right so name a has age 20 B has age 30, so 3 are students, C has age 22. So what if I need, sorry, uh, so let me clear the screen. What if I need, right, find only, find. So here I have to find a piece on, right. So I have to find like this. It's, it's in a piece in format. So if you click on enter now. So I'll be getting a document which is having a name A. All right. So let us see what is a projection, right? So if I if I write a uh, is student, I'll write is student equal to true. If you have seen the document, right? Oh, almost everything, almost all the documents have student. It's super true because these three are basically students. So what if I want to limit this? What if I want to put limit the value to 1? Okay. Then what I'll do? I'll write a comma here. See, if I write is student equal true, I'll get all the documents because all the documents has is student equal to true. At this time, what we'll do? We'll write find one. It will take the first document which is having the is student value. So here you can see all the time, right? What if I want only the e student value, right? I don't want this all. So I don't want to find the ID. I don't want to find the name. So I don't want to find the age. So I want only the name A, right? So let me write this, this same query. I'll write the name A. So let me remove this. I'll write uh, name A. Inside that, I can write capital A and I'll write one more value. So I want only the name. So I'll write name 1. That's it. See, I'll be getting only the name. I didn't get the age. I didn't get the student. But still, I'm getting the ID value. So how to eliminate this, right? So I can write one more condition. I write it here so I'll write underscore ID underscore ID colon 0 then I'll write a comma then I'll click on enter then I'll click on enter see you are only getting the name A if you want to find the name B the same thing value you have to write it here I will get the name only, I won't get the ID, I won't get any other attributes. So 
so here previously we have seen this one right so if you write find one of each student equal to you get the first document what if i want to write some other some other way right i want to see to some other way so let me put dot let me put limit limit of 1 i'll write so i can actually configure here what if i give limit of 2 so i'll get the two documents what if i do limit of 3 these are all the documents which are present this is also another way to get the limit to get the read operation of everything so there is also a skip limit 1 and i want to skip one document so what will be the answer see so i want to limit the one value i want to skip the first one so answer will be b so i want to limit only one so i want to skip the two values so which document it will show it will show the third document c document so yeah these are few examples which we can see in the read operation so that's it for the video guys if you like the video please click on like if you're a new viewer please click on subscribe till then guys take care have a great day bye bye